How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I'm going to be ranking every single Mew card. At least I hope it's every single Mew card. I hope I didn't miss any. Um, the ones I didn't include, though I can tell you right off the bat, are the reprints, mainly for this Mew EX and then the Lilypad Mew, since this is a reprint in Evolutions. And this one, of course, was reprinted for Celebrations, so I didn't include any of the reprints. I also included the Mewtwo and Mew GX Tech Team cards. Although I wasn't sure about them, there's also two missing here. There is the golden one missing and the rainbow one. Um, I think these are the main three, so that's why I included them. But without further ado, let's start ranking. Um, some of these are going to be very easy to rank. Some of them are going to be very, very difficult. Um, let's just start right off the bat with the Shining Mew. And would put that in S tier. This is an amazing card. Okay, so this is one of the first Mew cards, actually. This is, I'm pretty sure this is the first one. Um, this is a really, really cool card. It's stunning, even in person. I actually did purchase this card uh, a while ago. I'll be sure to put a, um, to put a link, like, up in the corner right here somewhere. So you can check that mail day out. But yeah, the card is super amazing. Very, very well done. I think these are mostly in chronological order. Um, let's place this one next. I think I'm gonna place this one in B. Um, this is the first Mew card, actually. So this was a limited um, time print, actually. Um, it was released and available for purchase in 1997, but it was later reprinted in 1999 and was included as one of the cards for the uh, Pokemon Song Best Collection CD. So this is illustrated, of course, by Ken Sugimori, and it, it actually seems like it's taking some inspiration from Mew's very first sprite, maybe, just, just very, very slightly. Um, in case you didn't know, the first generations that were released in Japan were actually red and green, and then later we got red and blue, and the sprites between those two, those two versions are actually very, very different. Most of them were changed drastically, and that does include Mew. And I think the very first sprite kind of takes inspiration for, for this one. Or, or this card takes inspiration from that very first, very first sprite. Okay, Southern Islands Mew. Um, a card that I don't actually have, but I might want to grab at some point. We'll put that at A. Um, what I really like is that this one appears to be painted with, like, colored pencils, almost. I really, really like that one. And, apparently, if you have, like, all of the cards, you can kind of put them together and create, like, a very big image. So that's very cool. And I might, I really want to grab that card at some point. This is actually kind of expensive to find in a good condition. But, yeah, the card is, the card is great, the artwork is great. The Mew Black Star promo. This is such an iconic Mew. We'll put you at A as well. Um, I do believe this is also illustrated by Ken Sugimori. Although I might be wrong. Who illustrated this? Um, it is illustrated by Ken Sugimori, so I was correct. Um, yeah, so this is such such an iconic card. This one was actually included in the Japanese fossil expansion. But in English, it was just a promo. There is also a non holo version of this card, which... Funnily enough, that's the only or one of the only cards that survived the Great Perch back when I sold all my Pokemon cards, which I still regret to this day. And super, super iconic card. And um, we'll put you at A. The Lilypad Mew. Now, this is also a really iconic card. Um, I don't really know where to place this one. This one has so many releases, too. There are so many versions of this one. There's like, I've recently noticed a, a pre release version. And then there's like a um, a tournament version, if you will, where like um, um, you have in the bottom right corner here, you have winner and then second place, third place, fourth place, so on. There's the reprint from Evolutions. And then there's, of course, the reprint from the 20th anniversary set, the Japanese one, which is actually the version that I have. Um, we'll put you at A as well for now. I might switch some of these around once we do get a bit later. But for now, we'll put you at A. Um, the Mew from Expedition. Um, this is kind of special to me since this is the first or one of the first cards that I bought when I got, got back into the hobby. This is a really, really cute illustration. It's a real shame that the, the artist who did this card doesn't appear to be working for Pokemon anymore. Or at least um, they don't seem to be 
doing any Pokemon illustrations anymore. Um, the same artist actually did the the really cool looking Zapdos from Macropolis. I'll be sure to put it up on the screen here somewhere. And it's a real shame. I really, really like that illustration. It's super cute. And unfortunately, it's one one more Mew card that is also very expensive in the Hollow version, actually. I got really lucky. I got it for pretty cheap. But then again, my version is German, so maybe that's why it was a bit cheap. Um, either way, very cool looking illustration. And it's the, it's the E-series cards. Those always look super cool, in my opinion. Sticking with the E-series cards, um, we have this Mew right here. So this is actually a McDonald's promo. Um, this is, I do believe this is actually a reprint of the Expedition Mew, or just a, an alternate art, if you want to call it that. So this is a McDonald's promo from way back in the day. Um, I actually don't know how expensive this is. I think this is somewhat expensive. This is also one that I would love to add to my collection. But yeah, the illustration is really, really well done. Really cool. Is that the... Hang on, let me see. Okay, so that is the exact same artist as the Expedition. So it's made by the same artist. That's why it looked kind of familiar. It's a real shame that they don't do Pokemon illustrations anymore. But who knows? Maybe, maybe they come back to it at some point. Now, the Ancient Mew, actually the only Ancient card that we have nowadays. Where do I place the Ancient Mew? Um, for one, it's pretty cool. It's like one of a kind. There's no other card like it. But at the same time, I don't know. Should I put it at B? I think I'll put it at B for now. As I've said, I might switch it around here and there. But for now, we'll keep you... we'll keep you at B. Okay, the Mew EX. So, this is actually a play promo. There were a lot of these um, back in the day. Um, there also were the Umbreon and Espeon Gold Star. Those were also play promos in, in Japanese, I'm pretty sure. There's also the three Regis. Um, this one, though. This one goes immediately to S tier. Because I do believe this might actually be my... My favorite Mew card of all time. At least, okay, no, let's put it like that. It's my favorite Mew EX card of all time. Let's just put it like that. Um, the illustration itself is super well done, like holy moly. Unfortunately, I mean, I want to add this card to my collection, but it's really, really expensive. It's really expensive. Jesus, you have no idea. Even the raw card goes for like upwards of 700 to 800 euros and then a PSA 9 is like 1.7 K and then a PSA 10 is 3 K so I don't know I I don't know if I will ever have this card in my collection but we'll see we'll see I hope I do at some point but who knows who knows Okay, next up we have the Rotas Mew, so-called. Um, this is this card is based on the on the Mew that appeared in the um, Lucario and the Mystery of the Mew movie. Um, I'll just put it at C. I don't really like that Mew is just like looking back, and everything illustration just doesn't do it for me. So I'll put you put you at C. Um, this one is another another movie promo, if you will. This is from the. 10th anniversary movie commemoration set or something like that. It was a set with, with like 11 cards. Um, all of which were prominently featured in the movies. You have like Entei, you have Lugia, you have Latias and Latios, so on and so forth. Um, this one... Um, I'm not sure. Should I place it at A or should I place it at S? I really like that card. There might be a trend with some of these cards. The cards that I really like are most likely going to be the ones that are in my collection. I don't know. Hmm. It's alright. By the way, the um, the full name for this card is Tree of Beginning Mew. Forgot to mention that. Tree of Beginning Mew. Hmm. I like that illustration. I really, really do. Um, We'll place it at A for now. I might switch it up. I might switch it up or something like that. Next up we have the... The Blank's Name Mew. This is kind of similar to the Birthday Pikachu where you also have a blank name. 
where you could fill your name out. Please don't. Um, this is also a play promo, funnily enough. Um, it's also kind of rare. It's not as expensive as this Mew. I think this is sitting around between 150 and 200 euros. Um, we'll put you at A. I think I think that's fine. Or should I put you at B? I... Uh, hmm. The thing is, the illustration is very well done. No doubt about that. I can't diss the illustration. The only thing I don't like is that Mew looks kind of odd in that illustration. I, I just don't know why. Mew just kind of looks odd. Also, finding a high resolution picture for this was a nightmare. Um, I will have all the cards like blending in here somewhere so you can appreciate them. Like, up close, well, not up close, very, very high resolution, at least the highest I could find. Um, yeah, I think placing that at B seems fair to me, at least. We'll put you there right now, and then we'll we'll see. Okay, next up we have the Mew from EX Legend Maker. I'm pretty sure all of all of these three are from EX Legend Maker. So this one I actually do kind of like. Um, I think we'll place you at A for now. Um, I I like the expression of that Mew card. I it's it's kind of like that meme or emoji. It's like it's for me. It's so nonchalant. I love it. I love it. Okay. Um, here is the Mew EX from EX Legend Maker. This was reprinted in Celebrations and the Japanese 25th Anniversary set. I do have the original Japanese print in, in a first edition. Um, I love the EX cards. I really, really do. Um, I think I'll place that at A as well. And then the other Mew EX, this one right here, will place at S. I really like this one more, more than this Mew EX, so I think both of these seem fair. Let me just see if that's also from EX Legend Maker. No, that seems to be from EX Hall on Phantoms. Yeah, it is, okay. So this is not from Legend Maker, this is from, um, from Hall on Phantoms. Right. Another card right here that I will never own, unfortunately, is the Mew from the Pokemon Art Academy competition. Um, this is made by a German artist, I'm pretty sure, that's why the card is in German. Only a hundred pieces of this card were ever printed, and then only three of them were ever publicly sold, at least graded ones. Who knows where the other 97 are? Who knows, but the illustration is really, really cool. I mean, you have to think about it, this illustration as far as I understand it, was done on a Nintendo DS. Nothing else, just on a Nintendo DS. And that is very impressive. That is very impressive. This is also a very odd card, because since the card is that rare, there don't exist a whole lot of even screenshots or pictures in general of the card. So getting a high resolution photo of this one was also kind of difficult. Um, luckily though, I do have a proxy version of that card, so that's what I used. Next up, um, where's this one? Is this also from EX Holland Phantoms or... Yeah, this is also from EX Holland Phantoms. Illustrated by Ken Sugimuri. Um, it just looks kind of generic, honestly. It is illustrated by Ken Sugimuri, so I, I can't put it at D for that reason. We'll put you at C. Um, for me, this just looks, looks kind of generic. It's literally... The the normal sprite, not the sprite, the normal artwork for Mew that Mew had at the time and just put on a card and then that's it. They called it a day with that. So it's it's not very imaginative for me. So that's why you're placing it at, at C. Um, Pop Series 4 Mew. I think I'll put you at D. I don't really like that one. I don't really like the Pop Series Mew. It's, it, it looks like it's 3D animated, but I don't think it is. Hmm. Yeah, we'll put you at D. I might switch it around at some point, but for now we'll keep you at D. Okay, so these two are actually the same card. Um, this is a an alternate art, if you will. Um, this is a Nintendo Black Star promo. We'll put you at B, maybe? We'll put you at B um, for now. And then this reprint, this reprint is actually kind of special, since this was also a McDonald's promo. I think you could buy it um, for participating in like some kind of event at, 
at Toys R Us in Japan around 2005, but it was then later reprinted at um, as a uh, McDonald's campaign promo. Um, we'll put you at C though. I well, do I put you at C? Um, this also was a card very difficult to obtain a, a high resolution photo of. Actually, no, I think I'll put you at B. Hmm. Yeah, we'll put you at B for now. I might switch it up to A. Because I do love the, the jungle in the background. I feel like that's that's where Mew is at home. In the jungle. Kind of like the first movie. Where you see Mew in, in the jungle when people are searching the ruins and, and stuff like that. I think that's where Mew belongs. And for that reason, we'll place it at B. Okay, here we go. The Mew Gold Star. The Mew Gold Star. One of my favorite Mew cards. Um, we'll place you right at S. Just for the simple reason it is a shiny Mew. And I really love the, the Delta Species cards. Luckily, they're making a return. Um, unluckily, though, they're nowhere near as cool as the ones we got back in the day. Um, making me sound old. Jeez. Um, but yeah. My main gripe, just, just to switch off, off Mew here for a second, my main gripe with the, um, whatchamacallit, with the Delta Species cards that we have nowadays, it's just the, the Terrestrialization crown. I think, I think that looks super stupid for most of them. I really don't like it. I really, I really don't like it. But then we have Akira Igawa out there, creating illustrations even with the crown that look absolutely stunning. But that's a topic for, for another day. First off, we have this one in the S tier. Um, this is another Delta Species Mew. I think this is from the Pop Series 5, if I remember correctly. Um, it is from the Pop Series 5, so this one will place you at A. Um, I don't like it as much as the Mew Gold Star, but I still think it's pretty cool looking. It's a Delta Species one, so it gets some points for that. So we'll put you at A for now. Okay, next up we have a Mew from the Diamond and Pearl expansion, Secret Wonders. Um, this is a card that I do have in my collection, and I really, really like it. Um, where do I place you, though? We'll place you at A. I really love the background, and especially the the hollow foil pattern. It We're still, up until this point, um, actually, I have to look at the card. I don't think it's the Cosmo hollow foil, unless I'm mixing things up. Or is it the Cosmo hollow foil? I think it's kind of like a special pattern you have like a, a a cross pattern right here um you know what what i might do i'll put up a video of the card like in the middle of the screen right here just so you can see the the hollow pattern of that card and then you you judge by yourself if you if you really like the hollow foil i i really do like it so we'll place you at a um the mule from pokemon rumble this is kind of an odd looking card Honestly, I think it has the same energy as the first Mew, um, so we'll place it at B. It's, I, I hate to say it, but it's, it's almost as ugly as it is cool. It's such an odd card, but we'll place you, we'll place you at B for now. Okay, next up, this is an incredibly special card. Right off the bat, we're placing you at S. Um, this is illustrated by Mitsuhiro Arita. So, a very, very cool-looking illustration. And the release for this Mew is also very special. By the way, this Mew right here, the Mitsuhiro Arita Mew, this is a reprint of this Mew right here. And coincidentally, of this Mew right here. So, those three are the exactly same card. Um, this one was incredibly special because you got this one um, for participating in another play event. This was one of the two cards. Um, you had to get 12 play points during the 20th anniversary festa held in 2016. So this is incredibly special. This is also very, very expensive from what I can tell. You don't really find that card out in the wild. And it also doesn't help. I, I have this feeling X and Y cards in general, especially in Japanese, are super rare to find. Maybe X and Y wasn't that popular over in Japan. But I just have this feeling that, that finding cards from that era is incredibly difficult. Um, this is also a card that will never be in my collection. I really wish it would, 
but then I have to I have to make do with this one. This is actually my collection. Next up, we have the the one and only Prime Pokemon, the Mew Prime. Um, I do have to say, I really love this card, actually. Um, or the Prime Pokemon in general. I'm still trying to, to get all the Prime Pokemon. I still haven't pulled the trigger. But then again, I haven't bought any singles in a really, really long time. I've mostly been, been busy with buying um, either graded cards or cards for grading. And mostly it was just one or two cards here and there. And then my... My money was spent either otherwise or saved up, maybe for a big purchase ahead. But yeah, there we go. Um, the Mew Prime really love this card, so we'll place you. We'll place you at A. Um, this Mew EX, this is going in the D tier. I hate that illustration. I hate, I hate that illustration with a burning passion. And when I do say I hate the illustration, it's not to diss the artist because I'm pretty sure they really, they did try really hard and it's not easy to create something like that. It's just that's my personal preference. No diss to the artist itself, though. I do have to mention that. I just don't like the illustration is all. Um, let's let's see this Mew right here, this Mew EX. Um, this is, I think, if I remember correctly, from Dragon's Exalted, same as this one. I don't know this era of Pokemon cards. I don't know if they have texture or not. I have a feeling it's the same as this Mew right here. Um, and it doesn't have texture. If it doesn't have texture, it should go in D. If it has texture, we might bump it up to a B. You know what? We'll do the middle ground. We'll put it at C. We'll just do the middle ground. Um, this Mew, on the other hand, this is very, very beautiful looking. So this is going to be placed into the S tier. Um, I do really need to, to add this to my collection. I haven't done that. This is an amazing Mew card. I really do need to add this to my collection. Okay, we have another Mew EX. This is actually a promo card. And I really love the colors in the background. I think this also highly depends on if that card has texture. If this card had texture, it would look insane. But I'm pretty sure this is the era of of like EX promo cards that do not have texture. I remember there is a, I don't know if it's an EX card, there's a Charizard EX from Flashfire, I think. That looks very, very cool, but it also doesn't have texture. Um, we'll place you at B for now. I think I like it a bit better than this Mew right here. So we'll place you at B. Um, this one, as I've mentioned, this is a reprint of this one or an alternate art, um, same card. Just different artworks. I like that illustration. I think we'll place it at A. It would actually be S tier if it wasn't for that yellow border, the Japanese one. Um, as many other cards looks so much better. I feel like the yellow border kind of ruins the card, in my humble opinion. So that's why we're placing it at, at A. Um, the black and white promo Mew um, will place you at S. Um, this is also kind of special to me, since this card, or the illustration for that card, used to be my my channel icon until I until I talked to an artist to create my my own or their own spin on the card. Basically, I said to the artist, um, I like this illustration, can you make something looking similar to that or take inspiration from? And that's how we how we came up with the current channel icon that I use. So we're placing that in S tier. I really like this Mew. This is super happy. Um, the background, it looks kind of weird. Uh, I can't tell if that's supposed to be a jungle or something. But I'm just gonna say, yeah, it's supposed to be a jungle and then that fits Mew perfectly. So there we go, S tier. And <clears throat> this one. This is also a Mew illustrated by Mitsuhiro Arita, I'm pretty sure. So I can't place this low. This is... Hmm... We'll place you in the middle of the pack for now. I might switch this up somewhat. But for now, we'll place that Mew in, in the B tier. This one right here. Man, okay. I really like that illustration. I do have to say right off the bat. Is it S tier worthy, though? Is it S tier worthy? Hmm. The hollow pattern of that card, I think... I think I have the Japanese version. Um, we'll put you at S for now. I might switch it up or might switch it down to A. For now, we'll we'll put you... Actually... Mm, we'll do it the other way around. We'll put it at A for now and then we might switch it up to S at some point. We'll see. 
All right, Shining Mew from Shining Legends. That's an that's a that's a very very easy S tier for me. Absolutely love that card. I would love to open some Shining Legends, but alas, the packs and the products themselves are very very expensive. So this is this is the best I can do. I can just buy the single from from that set. Next up, we have a Mew that you can just pull from a normal set. This is from Unbroken Bonds, um, illustrated by Sui. And we'll place you at A. Love the illustration. Mew is looking super happy. The the illustration itself also looks to be uh, made with colored pencils. So I really like that. We'll place you at A for now. I might move it up, actually. I, I really do might move it up. I really love this illustration. Um, next up is this one. I think this is from Hidden Fates, if, if I remember correctly. This Mew right here. Um, we'll place you at C for now. I don't know. I mean, it does look very cute. It's just it doesn't do it for me. I think the one thing that I don't like about that illustration is the background. The background just looks weird. I don't know what's that supposed to be. Is that supposed to be the sky during um, during sunset or something? I don't know. That's why I think we're placing it at C. Um, this one. Now, this is also a promo card, I think. This is okay. So this is the exact same card as the one from Unbroken Bonds. This is just a special promo print. Um, Mew is just—it seems to be either running or flying away while looking back. Definitely a cute illustration, but not one of my favorites. So we'll place you at B. We'll place you at B. Okay, we've come to the modern day of Pokemon and Mew cards. I'm starting off with a Mew from Chilling Rain, a card that I've actually pulled to the channel. Can't remember which video that was in, but I did pull that card and I was super happy because it's a Mew. Um, it is it is a 3D illustration though. It is like a three or 3D animation illustration, whatever you want to call it. And I typically don't like 3D animated stuff on Pokemon cards, so I think I have to place it at C. It's definitely not as bad as D. Because while it is a 3D animation, I think the illustration itself is, is kind of well done. The background fits Mew. Mew also looks very cute, so I think C is fair for this one. Now, this Mew from Celebrations, just the one you can pull regularly, um, that's an easy S tier for me. I absolutely adore that illustration. And it's another illustration that looks like it, it, it it's like um, done with color pencil, at least the background. Super, super cute. Okay, sticking to celebrations, next up we have the Golden Shiny Mew. And I have so many versions of this card. I have the Japanese one in my binder. And I have like multiple PSA 10s graded in English, or English, English graded PSA 10s. We'll put you at A. I don't think I can put it at S, just because these ones, in my opinion, are on another level. I really, really love this illustration. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore this card. This is like one of my favorite modern day Pokemon or modern day Mew cards. Maybe. My, this is super cool. I love the gold cards, especially the Sword and Shield era gold cards. They look so much better than the um, Scarlet and Violet ones that we have nowadays. So we'll put you at A. Um, this Mew right here, this is also illustrated by Mitsuhiro Arita. I think I have to place you at A as well. This also looks super, super, super cool. It's a stark contrast to what Mew illustrations are usually about. This one, Mew actually seems to be attacking or fighting almost. Doesn't have its playful demeanor that it usually does. So this is a nice change. So we'll put you at A. Um, this one I absolutely hate, this Mew V, so we'll put you at D. Um, the normal full art from Fusion Strike, I think I'll put you at B. I love the background. The background looks super, super nice. Okay, next up we have the Mew V alternate art from Fusion Strike. And we'll place that one in the S tier. If you've watched some of my other videos and you absolutely know that I love cards that have lots of different Pokemon in the background, Mew is still the centerpiece, so I really, really like this illustration. Now the standard Mew V Max, I placed this at D because I absolutely hate the V Max cards. Really, really do. I think the background looks super, super ugly in my opinion. That's why we're placing it at D. Um, we'll place actually the rainbow one first. We'll place this at C. 
Um, why is this one higher than this one? Because it doesn't have that background. Still don't like the rainbow card since the texture is so, so much worse than the Japanese ones. Um, the Mew VMAX alternate art, I actually wasn't a fan of this at first, but after holding the card in hand and finally owning it, I think I can safely place this in the A tier. Maybe even S tier. Um, you know what, we'll place it at S tier. I might switch it down, but we'll keep you at S tier for now. I, This illustration has really grown on me. And now I'm I'm absolutely in love with that illustration. One more Mew V Max. This is the golden one. I think this is from Lost Origin, or it might also be from Silver Tempest. I don't remember. Um, we'll place you at B. I think. I I like this better than the Rainbow Rare versions, and I think the idea of them is really really cool. So we'll place you at B. Next up, we have the Sleeping Mew from V-Star Universe or Crown Zenith. Um, we'll place you at S as well. Um, it's the same story as the Mew V. Lots of different Pokemon in the background. Mew looking very cute, sleeping. Super, super well illustrated card. This is coincidentally one of only two cards in, in my collection that I have graded in a CGC Perfect 10. I was super happy when that card got back as a perfect 10. We have reached the Scarlet and Violet era of Mew cards. Um, these are actually essentially the exact same card. Um, it's just different artworks and so on and so forth. So let's, let's rank the lowest one and go on from there. This one I absolutely hate. I don't really like this card. Um, the golden one is a bit better just because it's golden. Still not on the same level as this one. This one I think is an easy B tier for me. Maybe even A tier. Um, we'll place you at B for now. Um, this one is an A tier. The the special Mew EX. It would be an S tier if the English one could replicate the, the texturing of the Japanese one. And also, when this illustration was first revealed, I really, really wasn't sure about that illustration, since it, it still seems to me that Mew isn't the centerpiece of, of attention. It's like everything that's going on in the background. I mean, it kind of leads to Mew, but Mew is just like this tiny thing in the corner, which it should. Mew is actually really, really small, but I... I this is just one thing that makes me not want to put this at S. But it's it's growing on me, same as the, as the Mew VMAX card right here. And then this shiny Mew, actually, this ranks higher than this one. So this one I'll place in, in A, this one I'll place it S. So this one is in the A tier because while the illustration is very well done, the art style is just not for me. I do know that this artist has a lot of fans, actually. A lot of people absolutely love the illustration. And I do have to say, lots of different Pokemon in the background. Mew is the centerpiece, and it's also kind of in the bubble. And the Japanese version does a really, really good job with texturing. As, well, of course they do. Of course it does. And it's just the art style itself that I'm not not a fan of. Um, it's still an A tier, it's still a really, really good, good um, Mew card. And then this shiny Mew right here, of course it's a shiny Mew, it's the exact same card as these two, but it is shiny, and that's why it's in the S tier. I love the shiny cards, the shiny Mew cards. So there we go, this is the main list of the Mew cards. Um, we still have the tag team cards to rank, so let's do it very easily. The alternate art is, of course, the S tier. This looks really cute. I love how Mewtwo just looks so annoyed. And then Mew in the background is just giggling, having the time of its life. Super, super cute. This one is an A tier. This might also be S tier, honestly. I love how they take a fighting stance together. Super, super cool. And then this one is just B tier, because it just looks kind of generic. So there we go. That's my tier list of, of Mew cards, I guess. Super, super interesting. Okay, well, here we are. This is my tier list of every Mew card ranked. Lots of S tier. Um, I'm still missing quite a few of, of the S tier ones. I mean, there are some in that I will never own. Basically, these two. This one is very expensive, but you might I might still have a chance to get this one. But these two, probably never. But any who's... Um, I'll have this link down in the description below so you can rank the Mew cards yourself if you so choose. Um, I would love to receive some tweets of it if you do rank them. 
would love to see what you think. And seeing as this video will be released one day before Christmas, I wish you all a very Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate, then I do wish you Happy Holidays. Um, stay safe out there. And hope we'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace. Take care.